I wanted to try this because it's using the camera and the screen capture together. So yeah, um, just to answer a question that somebody raised about using Skype and how it seems to bring up um, adverts and change the way the web page looks. Now, when you install Skype, um, this is using Firefox. If we just have a quick, let's grab that. Quick look up there, you see it says Firefox, the little logo in the top left hand corner. Um, and what Skype does is it automatically installs this little icon in the top right hand corner. Now what I've done here, just using Google normal, I've done a search for Bracknell Pizza. And you can see here, it's given us a list of Pizza Go Go, Domino Pizza, Pizza Hut. And if any of these companies wish to sponsor me, just let me know. Um, and it's got the numbers there next to them. Now the idea is, because you've got Skype, you might want to contact these companies using your Skype. So what they make it happen is if you click on the little box up there and turn on number highlighting and press OK. And you see now that it's actually changed the telephone number. So you can click straight onto that telephone number and use your Skype to con to, to call them. Um, you can use a drop down here to use start, start call, um, add Skype to contacts, copy number, and, and do all this sort of stuff. Uh, now, by default, the um, all this is turned on. It can make the web page not look so good because obviously when the page was designed, it didn't have this little flag in it or this little thing. So sometimes when you've got the, this option turned on, then the, the text doesn't line up properly. And it looks a bit of a mess. Obviously, with this page, it's quite simple. Therefore, there's plenty of space in there for that to happen. But what we do is we go into here, we uncheck that. And if this one is checked, we uncheck that as well. And then we click on OK, and that goes back to normal. You can also, if you want to go even further than that, at the bottom here, there's a button that says uninstall, and it just takes it all out. It won't uninstall Skype. It simply uninstalls the plugin that are associated with your browser. I have not looked at this on Internet Explorer, but I, I presume it's the same. Um, there probably is an option when you install Skype in the first place to not have these enabled, but I suspect that it's one that's enabled by default and people are just not turning off and that's why it's coming up.